Hello students, welcome to your science class. In my last video lesson, you have met Aryan and his mother and they told you about various terrestrial animals. Now, let's meet him again. Hello, I am Aryan. I was fascinated by terrestrial animals in my last class. And my favorite was penguin. And which was yours? You know, penguin could swim in water and live on land. So, I asked my mom to take me to aquarium. You know what is aquarium? It is the place where the fishes are stored and they live there. Mama, can we go to aquarium? I want to know more about aquatic animals. Sure, son. But before I go, let me tell you learning outcomes of this video lesson. So, at the end of this video lesson, you will be able to, number one, Define the term aquatic animals and list the animals in fresh and sea water. Also identify the swimming organs of amphibians. Then tell the features of reptiles. So here I go to the aquarium. Wow, so many fish. Mom, how does a fish swim? A fish swims with its fins. Aryan, our earth is three-fourths covered with water. This is our earth. And look how much blue it is. And this blue represents water. The yellow section represents the land. Look here. If this is the earth, then this much blue band is water, water is 70% and land is about 30%. Mom, where is water on earth? Where can I find water? Well, Aryan, water is present in fresh water lakes, ponds, rivers, glaciers, streams and even ground water. You know the water which is present in the ground? Also, water can be present in your body. It's in the soil and it's also in the air you breathe in. And you know, water is the habitat. Habitat means home for many water animals. And animals Living in water are called aquatic animals. I repeat, the animals living in water are called aquatic animals. And examples of aquatic animals are seahorse, crab, whale, octopus, duck and dolphin. Besides these, there are many many water animals which are present either in river or in ocean or sea. So, before we move ahead, let's know what are the major parts of a fish. So, a fish has got lateral fins which are near the body. It has got tail fins. These tail fins help it to swim and direct. It has got gills. These Thin lines here, these are the gills and the gills help a fish in breathing. These two fins, lateral fins and tail fins, both the fins help the fish to swim in water and gills help it to breathe in water. Okay, so in a fish, fins help for swimming and gills are for breathing. Look closely in this picture. These are the gills which are present near the neck of the fish. These help in breathing. So, <clears throat> animals 
इन द सॉल्टी वॉटर और सी वॉटर और ओशन वॉटर सम एग्जाम्पल्स आर जेलीफिश सी हॉर्स शार्क वेल क्लाउन फिश एंड स्टार फिश एंड एक्वेटिक एनिमल्स और वॉटर एनिमल्स विच आर प्रेजेंट इन फ्रेश वॉटर और रिवर वॉटर आर रोहू फिश कैटला कैरिमीन ट्राउट एंड पिराना These are few of the fish which are present in fresh water or the river water. Arun says, "More are there any animals which live both on land and water?" And mother says, "Wow, very good question, son. Animals like frog and toads are land animals, but they need water." to lay eggs okay so they are land animals but when they have to lay their eggs they go in the water oh i didn't know that did you know so the animals which live both on water and on land are called amphibians and some examples of amphibians are frog this is frog toad salamander and newt Sicilian So coming back to frog a frog lives on land most of the time and lays its egg in water and from the egg comes out tadpoles so tadpoles are in the water Look very carefully a frog lays this type of eggs and when these eggs grow they become tadpoles and these are the tadpoles which keep on swimming in the water till they grow into frog and toad this is the toad these are the eggs of toad and these are baby toads okay look carefully how the eggs of frog and toad are different a frog has got ball like eggs while as a toad has got a string like eggs now frogs and toads have webbed feet for swimming how do they swim they swim with webbed feet look in this picture a frog is swimming you can see just have a look at the legs how it is folding its legs and pushing in the water and this way <clears throat> these are the webbed feet of the frog right this type of feet which you see are called as the web feet so the frogs and toad can breathe in water right now you must be thinking when the frog is in the water how will it breathe so when a frog is on the land watch carefully when the frog is on the land it breathes through its mouth it will open its mouth and it will breathe <clears throat> but when the frog is in the water it breathes through its skin and you know it has to keep its skin moist or wet so that it can breathe but when the frog has a baby they are tadpoles and they are moving in the water like this then they breathe through the gills like a fish you see how much interesting this animal is frog when it is on the land it breathes through its mouth it keeps its mouth open right when it is in the water then it breathes through its skin and when it is like a baby it is in the water then it has got gills to breathe so a frog is able to live both on land and in water aryan says but mom are turtle and tortoise amphibian too aryan's mom says no dear they are reptiles and they just lay eggs on land so the types of reptiles we are going to do is turtle tortoise and crocodile so turtles live in water for most of the time and they have got flippers for swimming 
watch this little video you can see these flippers this turtle is moving its flippers like this for swimming so turtles have flipper for swimming and turtles come on land when they have to lay their eggs so you see the frog which is a land animal goes to water to lay its egg and tortoise and turtle which are water animals they come to land to lay their eggs both of them are opposite to each other so the turtles come on land when they have to lay their eggs similarly a tortoise also comes on land to lay its eggs now crocodiles and alligators live on land and water theek okay? hai uh you can see here these are crocodile okay and here it is swimming this is an alligator it also lives on land and water sometimes it comes on land and sometimes it goes in water to cool down <coughs> and hunt so they crawl on ground and swim in water they live near water so with this we end the second part of this chapter animals and we are over with the topic water animals before we finish let's revise it one more time earth is 3/4 covered with water animals living in water are called aquatic animals animals are found in fresh and sea water right and amphibians like frog and toad need water to lay eggs they have webbed feet to swim and reptile like turtle lays eggs on land and have flippers to swim crocodile lives mostly on land and can swim in water you can go through the video one more time and check out the swimming organs of uh, frog and uh, turtle and you can also uh, find out again that how the fish swim in water and how does it breathe so that's it for now and watch out for the next video on animal behavior goodbye for now enjoy learning